joining us there. Let's talk about the Italian government. It could, could be on the fast track to a spectacular showdown with the European Commission later today. Now, it's all because of its spending plans. Hmm. Now, like the other 18 EU countries that use the euro as their currency, it's due to submit its 2019, uh, 2019 budget plans to Brussels today. But there's a problem. Yeah, and that problem is the coalition government, which came to power earlier this year. They want to spend more. Yeah. That coalition promised a boost to infrastructure spending, welfare payments and lower the retirement age. The EU and the IMF are already warning these plans are unaffordable and will only add to the government's 2.6 trillion, 2.6 trillion debt pile. But let's, let's put this into perspective. That debt pile is more than 130% of the size of the entire Italian economy. Uh, in the EU, EU, only Greece has a bigger debt burden. Alessio Terzin is an economist at the think tank Bruegel and joins us from Brussels. Alessio, great to have you with us. Look, uh, uh, Italy's deputy prime minister says Italians' right to health, jobs and pensions come before European threats. So I'm just wondering, does it really matter what the EU say? Because it looks like they're going to go ahead, right? I think if you're looking, strictly speaking, at the political uh, standstill in which we are at and the budget plans you were referring to, yes, they would probably uh, power through and go ahead. Um, but I think it is the, the overall narrative that is, uh, that is toxic, which is the European Commission is not doing the interest of people of Italy. We are the defenders of, of people against the markets, against the Commission, against the IMF and so on. Um, Alessio, just for our viewers around the world that perhaps don't necessarily follow how the whole EU system works, can the EU do anything anyway. I mean, so if they say, Let, you know, fingers up at the EU, if we're going ahead with it, there's, there's no enforcement, is there? Right now, uh, no, in the sense that, as you said, they will be presenting their budget plans today. The Commission has then two weeks uh, to reject them. This is more than a rejection. It is an invitation to resubmit a new one. Uh, now, they can resubmit the same budget plan and uh, really uh, push will come to shove later in the spring uh, when the, the budget starts to realise and the growth figures start to realise and that's where the Commission can uh, start to use its teeth uh, and they can use uh, sanctions as the ultimate uh, tool. So financial sanctions can be imposed on the Italian government but not for now. Right. I also just want you, while I've got you, paint the picture how worrying this is for the, the whole EU because yes, Greece has, has a bigger debt but Compared to Italy, I mean, Italy is a much bigger fish, right? Much, much more concern. If Italy gets into trouble, it has very wide negative consequences for the entire European Union, doesn't it? It does. It is extremely uh, worrying. And that's why uh, the EU Commission, but I would say financial markets globally are watching this. Uh, as you said, it is a huge debt pile. It is a huge economy, uh, the third largest uh, in Europe. Um, mm. So it is, it is something that is, is very concerning. The European Union has set up instruments throughout the crisis to deal with Greece. Uh, you know, the ESM mm. to, to help uh, manage programs, the OMT of the European Central Bank, but Italy is a, is a much bigger fish yeah. than Indeed. Greece. Indeed. Uh, Alessio, short and sweet, but we appreciate your time. Thanks very much for joining us. Alessio Turzen, joining us there from Bruegel in Brussels. Say that three times. Hey, let me just touch on a couple of other stories.